everyone, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. My name's Lauren, I am a singer and a voice teacher, and today we are talking all about the larynx. What is it, where should it be while we're singing, and what are a couple exercises that you can do to feel it get to the place we want it to be while we're singing. I have a brand new mini training for you guys. It's a five day course called Start Singing, and it's for those of you who are just getting into singing, and also for those of you who are wanting to recommit to your singing endeavors. So what happens is you sign up and immediately when you enroll, day one of the course will get sent right to your inbox and then you'll get one video a day for the next five days to help you really understand what you need to be working on and how to get started. So without further ado, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and also hit the little bell so that you don't miss it when I go live because I do go live once a week now on Wednesdays. And I usually try to give you guys a heads up about when I'm going to be going live, but I know a lot of you are always really disappointed when you miss it. So that's the way to never miss a live. Okay, let's talk about the larynx. So first off, what is the larynx? The larynx is the housing of our vocal folds. So it is also re commonly referred to as the voice box, but the scientific term for it is the larynx. Now the larynx is in our Adam's apple. So women, we don't really have an Adam's apple, but we have the same structure. Mine is about right here. Men, find your Adam's apple. <laughs> it's not too hard for you guys. It's a lot harder for the women. Women, it's not gonna be down here. It's definitely gonna be up higher here. So you're gonna wanna feel for it. And once you feel it, you'll feel that there's a, like a little V notch in the front. And that's right where your uh, vocal folds are, right behind that. So that's the cartilage that protects them. And then the vocal folds are right behind that. So go ahead and put your finger gently on it and, and swallow. And you feel it pop up, right? And it's popping up because your epiglottis has to fold over your larynx to clear the way so that your water can go down your esophagus, if you're swallowing or food, whatever. So the way that we make sound, right, is that air is coming up through our trachea and then it goes a little bit forward in through the larynx, right? So this is happening whether or not we're singing. It's also happening if we're just silently breathing, but the air is always passing up through that way. Now, when we hold our breath, we're actually doing that by closing our vocal folds together. So do that, everyone hold their breath. Breathe in. Do you hear that? that's your vocal folds coming together, which is inside your larynx. So, obviously by now you guys, guys have noticed that your larynx is movable, right? So your larynx can move up and it can move down. So generally speaking, we want it in a, like a resting position that's uh, more low than high, right? So while we're singing, it's gonna be moving, it's gonna be going a little bit up, a little bit down, but where we get into a lot of trouble is when it's really, really low or really, really high. So that's why I said we really want it in a balanced position. So when you guys hear uh, voices like Kermit the Frog, or if you hear somebody who kind of has a Kermit the Frog sound, <laughs> um, ah, 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 Kermit the Frog, right? <laughs> my dog was like, what the heck was that? So when I did that, my, my larynx went way up into my throat. Or if you ever see somebody who's singing like this, usually their larynx is really high. We don't want that. No matter what kind of music we're singing, we do not want that. When we're belting, our larynx will be slightly higher than normal. But every other time, we need to have it in a really balanced position. So it's important to be aware of this because a lot of times when people are expressing that their throat feels really tight or that their throat hurts while they're singing, this is why, right? It's because of these, these muscles and that your larynx is, is skyrocketing into your throat. Also, one other sensation is, is if you've ever feel like you're choking yourself while you're singing, that could also be from a very high larynx. Okay, so now let me show you guys a couple of ways that, that you can feel your larynx lower. Now, a play, really good place to start is just feeling where your larynx is when you're speaking, right? Now, if you have a very low, like a very low, low, sultry speaking voice, you might have 
a little bit a little bit of a lower larynx while you're speaking. Now I um, I have a very a medium place larynx while I'm speaking. Some people that have a little bit more twang in their voice or like a lot of, I grew up in the Midwest, so a lot of people in the Midwest speak with their larynx pretty high in their throat as well. Um, so it's interesting to explore that. Now one exercise I like to do that really lowers the larynx is, you're gonna have to bear with me for a second because I'm gonna require you to use a little bit of your imagination. So I want you to imagine that your throat is a straw that not only can suck in downward, but it can also suck open, right? And so when you feel yourself taking the air in and your throat is going to open this way, you're going to feel everything lower. Okay, so gently place your hand here. Exhale first. Now slowly inhale. So when I do that, my larynx goes from being up here to down here. Did you feel it? Let's try that again. Exhale. Inhale. Yeah, so a really good slow breath where you're thinking about everything relaxing and releasing, that's a great way to feel it lower. Okay, so now for the second way that you can feel it lower. You can use the ga sound. It goes ga, 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 ga. You get that? Let's do it again. Now, remember, I'm not doing this really loudly. I'm not going ga, 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 right? That's not gonna work. It's a ga, 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 and you feel it come down. Ga, 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 ga. And make sure you're feeling everything may remain relaxed as well. So now, the last exercise that I really like to do to feel the larynx lower is do a downward siren. Now, this is going to be a much more relaxed siren than our high ones. We're just gonna start in the middle of the voice and then go, Ooh. Okay, did you feel it lower? Let's try that again. Feel that every time. Let's do that one more time. There you go. Now your larynx is low and it's relaxed. Lastly, something that you can do to kind of relax these muscles is very, very gently, gently take your two fingers here and massage these muscles downward. That kind of helps just the surrounding muscles, but doesn't necessarily lower your larynx, right? <laughs> so, but sometimes everything is so connected that these muscles get tense too, and they need to just need a little relaxation downward. But remember, everything in your throat is really sensitive, so be gentle. Okay, so lastly, I just want to say that while you're singing, your larynx is, like I said, moving a little bit up and a little bit down. So it's gonna be tough for you guys to notice at first if your larynx is too high or too low. But while you, when you do these exercises, you're gonna become more acquainted with what your larynx actually feels like. And then you're gonna be able to ask yourself, okay, is my larynx like skyrocketing when I'm singing? Is it too low? Or do I feel like I have pretty good control over it? And when, uh, the majority of the time, the answer is gonna be, if, if, it's, if it's not where you want it to be, the answer is gonna be that it's way too high. And so that's when you can go back to these exercises to get it to lower, to get it to settle, and to be more in a more relaxed position where it will feel much more comfortable to sing. So I hope this, guy's an this answers some of your guys' questions about the larynx. I know that a, this is kind of a topic that has a lot of question marks around it. So if you guys want me to make more videos about the larynx, I'd be happy to. Just let me know in the comments. So please hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys so soon. Thanks for tuning in today.